are you able to have a haircut over there? And if yes, how? And then one more, maybe a little bit more sophisticated, in your mission in space, how do you think this will change or help climate change issue? Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful question. So honestly, uh, yes, I did have uh, uh, haircuts. And uh, uh, one good thing that I can uh, share everything I do here on board the station with uh, everybody back on Earth. So I did uh, share the experience of uh, cutting my hair in space using a vacuum. It was literally a vacuum cleaner uh, uh, connected to a clipper. So I did that. And uh, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm f f f feeling difficult. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 facing difficulties uh, cutting my hair alone, so I get some help from crew members just cutting my hair from from the back. And uh, regarding your question, the other question, um, uh, I, I think uh, uh, this is a, a very important time for everybody. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, living in a planet that we have no other planet to go to uh, 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 very soon. So we need to keep it intact. We need to protect it. And uh, uh, remembering the uh, the uh, COP28 that will happen by the end of this year. I think uh, uh, the UAE specifically is uh, committed to uh, protecting the planet and uh, also inviting all the, um, uh, I would say, uh, inventors and uh, uh, people with uh, uh, science background to participate in such event and protect the planet. And this is an open uh, invitation for everybody to help protecting the planet as well. So yes, indeed, we uh, do have a different perspective and hopefully we can uh, participate in that event to deliver that uh, point of view uh, from space as well.